Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is gonna be a compilation of this week's cleaning chores. So all the chores, a lot of them I've been putting off that I needed to get done for the week. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and comment down below. Let me know some of the cleaning chores that you needed to get done this week. I have a bunch of laundry to take care of, but I wanna show you this really cool gadget that I got off Amazon. It comes in like a two pack. And it's perfect for cleaning out your lint screen, like to get the stuff that you really can't get in there and grab. This is gonna grab it all. So you just kind of have to wedge it in there. It takes a little bit of finessing and then just drag it down. I do left to right and then you pull it out and it's gonna grab all of that extra lint that you can't get out with just like the screen or your finger. So I've really, really been loving this. Another thing on my to-do list for the week is to dust my baseboards. I try to do this every couple of weeks, but honestly, it's been like every few weeks now because it's just so time consuming. So I've been liking using a little hand vac to just go over like the vents and things like that. I just find that it works really well. And then also on delicate furniture, I like to use this. I just think it does a great job of removing the dust and it's just a nice alternative to using like a Swiffer duster, especially if you're out of them, which I am at the moment. This, this hallway gets so dusty because I have a very large window, I think, and it just, the dust just attracts and just builds. And I feel like the very next day there's dust again all over the floor. The next thing on my to-do list that I need to work on is I have a glass shower surround and I guess this is like the sweeper or, or something. It's, it's plastic and it gets just so moldy and gross if you don't keep up with it. But I love using the Clorox. This is the bleach foamer. Works really good. So I just spray it on. I let it sit for like 10 minutes and then I'm going to move on to doing my marble shower pan. I am trying something different today. Normally I use the Marble Life, but it's very expensive. So I'm trying this Stone Tech mold and mildew stain remover. It's supposed to be great for natural surfaces like marble and stone, natural stones. And I'm hoping that it works really good because it's a lot less expensive. As far as the smell, probably about the same as the Marble Life. I will say that I do like the sprayer better on the Marble Life and the Marble Life works really good. So it is worth the money. So I'm just taking this a little scrubber brush. It's perfect for getting in like tiny little grout areas. And then on the other side, it has a nice scraper and it's very soft. So it's not gonna scratch the stone or anything like that. I've had this one on my to-do list for a while. This needs to be recalked here. It's like right by the lip of where you step in the shower. But I'm going to make sure to clean it and kill all that mold first. And then I need to get in there and recalk. So I'm just going to scrub this out here and then let it sit for a little bit. Now taking a wet rag and just wiping the cleaner away and you can see that it's nice and clean and I'm ready to caulk it. Back to the shower pan. So now I'm rinsing the chemical. This is a Stone Tech down the drain. So far, I think it works great. I think I need to try it one more time to kind of give my final review. And I'm just kind of doing some touch up on some of the tile that I had missed around the side, that just where I see some like pink starting to grow. It's always good to get in there and give it a scrub and kind of stay ahead of it. So it's probably been about 10 minutes or so and the bleach has really gotten a chance to soak in. So I'm just taking a little scrub brush and giving it a nice scrub. Some of it is a little bit tough to remove, so I might have to reapply some of the bleach foamer and let it soak in a bit more. I have a couple loads of laundry that I really need to fold and put away. I had about three feet of just clothes on my closet floor. I don't ever really let it get that bad. I've just not really been motivated, but once everything's put away, I feel 
so much better. I've been using the same type of organizational system in my closet for a while now, so it is pretty quick for me to just put this stuff away because everything does have a place, which makes it easy. So it doesn't take me that much time. And I've also gotten in the habit of keeping a donation bag, which you'll see me pick up in a minute here, in the closet so that I can just quickly, you know, throw things in the bag as I see them. I got a couple new suits. One is from JMP The Label, which is uh, Juliet Porter's brand from Siesta Key. I really wanted to try one of the suits and see what the hype is about. I love them. I think the quality is great. They're absolutely beautiful. The material is fabulous. This is very high cut. Like I'm a mom of two, so I feel a little bit uncomfortable. I guess even if I wasn't a mom, I don't know. I guess I'm just a little bit more reserved in that sense. But this I picked up from, I think, TJ Maxx. It was a size four, six, but it is tiny. So I'll just probably wear it around the yard. But I also wanted to share with you how I store my bathing suits because if you're having a hard time like getting them organized or just need some ideas, I put mine in little zip blocks and then kind of just line them up and it keeps everything really nice and organized. So you can just grab what you need and it's not all like flopping around. And then like the one pieces I fold and I put towards the back. I've been pulling out pieces here and there of my closet. If you guys watch my closet clutters, you know that I do this probably like three times a year. And then I list them for sale on like Poshmark or Mercari. Do with my kids stuff too, for the most part. So that's all the stuff that I need to list. So I have a few sweaters that I need to take some pictures of and list them on the site. These are just some winter sweaters that I really don't reach for anymore. And then I keep all the stuff that can be folded where it wouldn't get like ruined or wrinkled in bins. And then I just label them as selling so that they're ready to go ahead and be stored away. And then the last thing I have this week on my cleaning to-do list is to clean my car. So I have to turn it in. It was a lease. So I'm just vacuuming it out quickly and just cleaning up all the kids kind of crumbs and all that junk. And then I'm gonna take it over to the car wash to get cleaned. Oh, and to clean my mats, I just use the Dawn dish soap spray foam, sprayed on a little water, love this scrub brush. I'll link it down below. And they come out looking perfect. So after I do this, I just spray them down and then I just dry them. I just throw mine out on the lawn let them dry, put them back in the car, and you're good to go. So most of the time, especially in the summer, I will just wash my car myself in the driveway, but it's been like in the high 90s this week. It's been super hot, and my kids love when we go to the car wash. It's really fun for them. So comment down below. Let me know if you like me filming like my cleaning to-do list, organization list, that kind of thing. I'd be more than happy to do so, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.